I um, bought with me two pair of shoes. Imagine that they are two kids. And um, I encourage you to have an um, imagination exercise to see how these two kids will evolve if some processes will take or not place in their lives. Now, the, uh, that was the white one. <laughs> My statement is reimagine teaching because learning is already reinvented. And what I why is that? I will uh, continue with the last part of the statement and explain in a bit. Why learning? Because it's all about you. And who's the person you are spending your entire life with? Yes, you got it right, it's you. And how do you learn? I may say that there are very particular and very different processes. And one of the most fabulous processes of learning is the unconscious learning. Because yes, we learn all the time, every time, or everywhere. The unconscious way of learning is uh, when you don't acknowledge actually that you're learning. Kids do this all the time. They paint and uh, they put the picture, uh, uh, the, um, the paper like this and say, oh my God, this is a butterfly. No, it's also a bug. Oh, I think it's a butterfly. Yeah, but it also can be a balloon. And they learn so many other connections and they make so many other connections. Let me tell you a thing. Do you know how many and which is the capacity of uh, a kid's brain in the, fifth, in the first uh, five years of uh, their life? Well, imagine that you have to learn for five, I mean five, med, med school. So many information do a kid receive in their brain and so many connections. Yes, and this is the unconscious learning. Then, when we go further in life, we need to learn. We go to school to learn, right? I would like to ask you, how many of you did you enjoy school? Okay. <laughs> uh, that's not plenty. <laughs> um, but how many of you did you, and do you, Enjoy learning. Thank you. Well, the mandatory learning, if it's not determined by a strong motivation, which is in ourselves, that's, let's say, a pain in the back <laughs> of ourselves. And it's a strong pain, and it's continuously, and Unfortunately, this can also be a blockage in learning further. That is why I encourage all of them, all of you who don't like school and yet you're in school, and to see the other part, not the back, the further, which is the joy, which is the curiosity of learning, and why do you actually learn? Okay, I will um, pass through and go to one of that moment that uh, when I said, oh my God, learning is cool. Thank God I don't know so much and I have so many other things to learn. And that moment was uh, when I got 20, I was uh, 21st, and I actually acknowledged and revealed how do I learn. And from that time on, my learning was conscious. 
and I knew how I enjoy learning, what do I need to be, to do, or to be with, to learn, and to be performant. That is, uh, was when I was in the right place, in the right moment, yes, and I saw the process of my learning. How, uh, what was there in me that made me hear, feel, think, and be there? The holistic learning. And that was when, uh, that was the moment when I uh, got in touch with experiential learning. And it wasn't all about mathematics, it wasn't all about physics, it was about me and being me and being in connection with others. Yeah, this is what I encourage to, you to do. Please try to connect to an observer of yours and think, what do you feel now? What are you learning? Is it something that I'm saying? Is it something that relates to you? Is it something that I wrote there? Is it something that um, was about the song Vizi uh, just shared with us? What is, where is your mind now? Because there is your learning process. Now I will go further and talk about the first part of the statement. Reimagine teaching. But who's the teacher? Is it an authority? A guy uh, sitting next to me last, uh, last day in the train actually took a, a wild, uh, a wild uh, view on, uh, on my notes and he said, you know, teaching is about authority. Learning it's about yourself, it's a personal process. And I said, thank you very much. That means uh, many of us uh, know the same thing. Well, if teaching it's about an authority, an authority of knowledge, is there anyone entitled nowadays to say that he or she is an authority in knowledge since we have, uh, we are at a click distance to know it, know it, it all. Well, I may say that Google and the wives are the authority of, uh, of knowledge, but now there are some groups, the mom groups. So whenever you don't know anything or something, please Go to, <laughs> go to a group of moms. Coming back, and uh, in relate with this, I think that teaching, and not only in schools, in companies, in families, in communities, in organizations, it's about the context and the power that the context can give. Because who, in a, because in a context, everybody can be a teacher. You don't know who is learning from whom. Because uh, children, and you saw here, so many young people having so much knowledge and so many experiences so far that our parents cannot imagine. And yes, regarding to the other TED talk, we are not, thanks to industrialization, now we can be ourselves and can be connected to ourselves more. And this is my invitation for all of those that can create a context. And the funny part is that each one of you is a context for somebody to learn. Maybe it's your child, maybe it's your wife, maybe it's your husband, maybe it's your girlfriend, your boyfriend, 
and even to yourself. You can be a creator of a context to learn. Well, also um, the context, it's about the changing roles. As I said, you don't know who's learning from whom, but since you're a creator of a context, and uh, I may say a co-creator, you shelter a process. You shelter an emotional process, an emotional transaction, and therefore, you're a creator. And from my point of view, that is one of the most highest perspective you can go in this life. Okay. What other context? I will uh, tell you about the context. I learned so much. And after that, I had a very strong conclusion that led me to this. Yes, we all had um, some particular uh, problems at school. And uh, that particular uh, uh, problem well, at school, that was fear actually, and the tension that the authority put on us, made me reevaluate the values I am searching for. And that is why, and that is how, I got to this. Joy is the indicator, it's my indicator that I'm in the right place in the right time. And why is that? Because this gives me the opportunity to be in a flow, to be in that process where both the motivation and the context, particular context are there for me, and I go to the higher performance I can get. And from that on, I'm no longer with me, but I'm also a creator of the context for others. And now, coming back to these kids, Who do you think will go further? The one who is in the right context and has a great acknowledgement of itself, herself, or the other one who is just learning and being taught? I will take you to courage and say that they, were, they will both be further because the one full of joy and will create a context for the other one to grow. Thank you very much.